y'all, it's Wendy with Drive Across Texas, and I'm here in Evergreen Cemetery in Paris, Texas. And we were using Mr. Jim's little walking tour map to kind of walk around and, and look at some of the different historic graves and different things. And we came upon the fish pond, which is pretty amazing. It was put in by the local garden club. And near it, there is this stone right here. That is actually for John Wilkes Wilson, is the name on the stone. And I have to tell y'all, it was a little eerie. Even now, I'm like getting goosebumps. We heard a rumor from one of the, the men that works here in the cemetery that there was a phone call made about the body of John Wilkes Booth, the assassin of President Lincoln back in 1865. And it's the story has it that they got a phone call about disinterring the body and doing some DNA testing, and it didn't pan out, it didn't, it didn't come through or whatever, but there used to be, in this place here, there used to be a very old tombstone that had fallen over, and you know, this particular individual here, he died in 1899, so that, this obviously is not an 1899 headstone, um, but not too long ago, some time back, all of a sudden, this particular monument appeared. And I asked Mr. Jim about it, and he told us that he didn't know where it came from. He, he said it was just there one day. We were out cleaning the pond, and we noticed this new headstone. Uh, Mr. Jim's been here for a long time, 50 years, so he's pretty well aware of what goes on in his cemetery. And he said he contacted all of the local monument companies. Nobody knows where it came from. Nobody's done the work. It's not theirs. It's just one of those kind of things that he's like, we don't know where. It just all of a sudden showed up. So as we were walking around, I said, oh my goodness, there's that headstone that he told us about. And you, Brian and I both just kind of got this eerie feeling. It was kind of it's kind of weird. So if you look at the dates of Mr. John Wilkes Wilson here, this man would have been 26 at the time that President Lincoln was assassinated, which just happens to coincide with the age of John Wilkes Booth. So I don't know, y'all. It may be a tall Texas tale. It may be just one of those weird things that sometimes comes up. You know, I don't believe in coincidences. I think everything happens for a reason and, and God puts us in certain places. So I'm not gonna sit here and say it's a co coincidence. I don't know, you make your own conclusion. But next time you're in Paris, Texas, stop in, just take a moment to read some headstones. Come seek out Mr. Wilson here and see if maybe you draw a different conclusion. It's definitely worth your drive across Texas. Bye y'all.